Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord, wherever you are. It's a beautiful day. The Lord has made with this and be glad in it, my dear friends. I thank God for all of you. Thank you for the gift of life. And the gift of this month of August, my dear friends, you've begun a new theme for this month, which is that all things work together. All things work together. That is a theme for the month of August. And this morning, my dear friends, you're looking at something very simple, which is, I can wait for a miracle. I can wait for a miracle. Now, when the word comes, or when you begin praying for a miracle, it always looks a bit easy um, when the word comes. It becomes a bit difficult when it comes to the process of waiting because your life around you always seems to argue directly with the miracle you're fighting for. What do I mean argue? I simply mean that your life begins to go into direct conflict or the, or the reality you have before you goes into direct conflict the miracle you're waiting for, um, from the Lord. You find that if you're believing God for something, the evidence in your life is contrary to the miracle you're waiting for. And this makes it difficult for us to wait upon the Lord. When we say that all things work together for good as a main theme, is that I have to look at my life and look at the miracle that I'm waiting God uh, for the Lord to do and trust that every small detail in my life is part of the bigger plan. If I read Romans 8.28, it says, uh, from the partial translation, it says this, that every small let me, let me, it says um, that we are convinced that every detail of our lives is continually woven together to fit into God's perfect plan. Every detail of our life is continually woven together to fit into God's perfect plan of bringing good to our lives. My dear friend, it requires everything in your life that you're experiencing, everything you see that doesn't make sense, everything you feel that doesn't make sense, is part of the requirement that the Lord will use or part, of the, or, or part of the puzzles or the bricks that God will use to bring the miracle to pass. The wedding in Cana and Galilee is a good example. There was no wine. A very bad situation for the bride and the, and the bridegroom. But a few things had to work together for good. One, they had to invite Mary who had to come with Jesus. Number two, they had to run out of wine. <laughs> and number three, very important, is that there had to be jars of water. These jars of water was not clean water. It's the water that was set apart according to Jewish custom for cleaning themselves. It's almost like what we call bath water. This water was what was outside, which they would, which they has used to turn water into wine. So you look at all those things coming together. You look at Jesus making it work because, my dear friend, it always requires the mess, the chaos, the things that don't make sense, the feelings you didn't understand, the thoughts you never knew, the very many things, the breaks, the 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 good news, the bad news, all those things are important details for the miracle to take place. So how do you do for the miracle? In a very simple way. By looking at the scripture says all things will work together for my good. So I can, I can easily wait. I can easily believe. Because everything in my life is part of the detail that God needs to fulfill the miracle he has promised me. Let us pray for that today. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, your spirit, your goodness, your kindness, and your mercy. I pray, Father, over your sons and daughters this wonderful morning for the strength to wait for a miracle, for the grace to have the capacity to receive from this miracle, Lord, and Lord, the, and Lord, the knowledge that all things work together for their good. May every part of their life, Lord, fall into place. May every part of the days of their life, Lord, fall into place. May they see wonders and miracles take place in their lives, Almighty Father. May this you transform them and renew them, Almighty Father, for the glory of your name. How I praise you, how I worship and I glorify you because you are a faithful and a good God. There's nothing you cannot do. In judgment, pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed, my, my dear friends. See you again next time, same time. Remember, we can wait for the miracle because all things work together for you.